So right now the planter is set up for soybeans because that's what we started planting with. Um, now we're going to switch over to corn. It's not too hard to do. Um, there's just a few little things to do. Um, like I said earlier in the video, um, I just planted out the rest of the soybeans that were in the boxes because there wasn't very much. So I don't have to drain the boxes out. But the one thing you do have to do is these plates that are inside the meter, you need to change them. So I'll take this one out to show you guys what the difference looks like. slide in there sometimes they are a little hard to get out but there we go so soybeans you're planting in a much higher population than corn so here you can see there's a lot more slots for the soybeans to go in and the corn there's a lot less and they're um i guess bigger deeper slots kind of because um you know, corn kernels isn't completely round like a soybean that's completely round. So that's why they're, that's why they're shaped the way they are and we gotta change them because corn we're planting at a much lower rate um, per acre. So yeah, I think we're gonna probably set the planter to plant around 33,000 seeds per acre, I'm pretty sure. And I'll show that in a minute. We just gotta move one chain. So, yep, we'll go down through and get these all switched. So I got all the seed plates changed in there. Oopsies. Got you on my tripod and it twisted a little bit. But right here is the, or I guess the first thing I'll say is right here. This is an air blower. It's powered off that PTO pump right there. It pumps hydraulic fluid through the hoses back to here and it runs a small PTO pump and, it's, and there's a fan inside and then there's like PVC pipe in the front there that comes to each row unit through this tube inside and then it blows air against the seed plate to keep the seed against the plate so you can adjust how much air you have on on each plate or or on the whole planter so certain seed sizes will have different um pressures because if you have too much pressure on small seed you can get lots of doubles if you don't have enough air on small seed or on big seed you can get lots of skips and um, good singulation is good when you're planting corn so like i was saying here this is what we call the transmission box this is what drives the whole planter in each row unit so wipe off this little chart got dusty but Right now, the it is set up on, uh, let's see, this one, this one, and this one. I'm kind of just basing it off of, okay, 25, 27, and 38. So right now, it's set up to do 36,000 because if you come down here, the soybean plates we use, you have to multiply that rate by four so i'm gonna want to set it at this number probably instead um so all i have to do is bump over one one chain this chain i'm gonna have to bump over to this bracket instead and that's not too hard just loosen it up by pushing this forward and the whole chain's loose and then you just slide the sprocket over and these clips on the end hold the sprocket from moving so like i said with the singulation this chart gives you that so on thirty thousand seeds per acre um number of seeds in disc um should be a 50 plate disc i think um 
Nope, it's a 30 cell disc. That's right. Um, so that means there should be 6.3 inches between each seed. I'm pretty sure is what that's how that's um, going about. The next thing I have to do is got this chain here in this box. Um, and right up here, these are the fertilizer boxes. So we run a starter fertilizer on here. I just got to put a new chain here. The one that was on here last year was, or had been on here was getting super loose and it was out of adjustment. So we decided just to get a whole new chain. So I'm gonna put this on now. Now I gotta remember which way this chain went on. Sounds like dad's heading back now with the uh, auger wagon, so he's probably done doing oats now. Let's see, yeah, that's gotta go bottom in there and go. This is gonna take me a minute to figure it out. Remember how I do it. I might have to look back to see how I had it before. So I finally got that chain on there. Uh, I think the last thing I gotta do is just put seed in it and then we'll be good to go. Just gotta put fertilizer in it too and then I'll have to adjust the depth once we get started with it. But looking out the uh, end door, we got a nice sunset if it'll focus. Might have to go down there to see it. There we go. We did get some of the fence fixed here, so we are getting the cows and heifers outside now. I wasn't here when we let them out for the first time, but um, they're enjoying it. I am too. It's good to get the cows outside. They like eating nice grass. So this is all of our seed here for the year. We've got two varieties here, one variety here. This variety here is a 97 day. Um, this over here is a 91 day. And this on the bottom, I don't remember what it is. That's a 98 day. So the thing is, I need this seed on the bottom to plant first, theoretically. But with how much of that seed we have one day off, um, I might plant that first because we changed the way our acres went and we bought some extra corn this year anyways um we're gonna be able to return quite a bit of this i think so i'll probably just plant most of that variety this year and then some of this other stuff once we get later in the year but yeah and then we'll probably just return that on the bottom i'd say so we'll see i guess start throwing bags in the planter This is some heavy seed, I can tell, just based off the here on the bag over. It is 59 and a half pound bags. It's basically 60 pounds. And that is some big seed. This is very round seed. So one bag of corn seed will do roughly two and a half acres of corn. Um, and to put that into perspective, a bag can run from 250 to $350, somewhere in there. So that's one of the main, one of the bigger expenses at the beginning of the season. 
for farmers who plant corn. So one last thing I want to talk about tonight is the I'm going back to the air pressure on the planter and the certain size of seed. So these bags of Envision corn give a very nice chart on how much air to use. So, and the seed disc, there are some different ones. You can use some bigger ones and smaller ones, um, like the seed discs I changed on each row. So here, seeds per pound is 13.55. So then you'll come over here to uh, 1355 or 1500 or fewer and then we'll find our planter we have a white 8100 but they are all very very similar so the disc we run in it is not listed here we run this uh 361 so it's saying we need a bigger one. Oh crap well I think this one will be fine for what we're doing, but like I said, it says to run the air very low compared to like that, what you would run. So we'll see if we decide to change the plates or not in it, but we'll have to find some if we need them. So that's all I'm gonna have for today's video. Uh, I guess the last two days video. So um, should be enough to make a pretty decent length video. But yeah, thanks for watching. The next video I'll have planting corn, maybe some drone footage. We'll see what happens. And then we're going to get some rain the next few days. So it'll be shut down for a little while. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one.